love. Paul? Is that you? Anne? Yes. Is there something wrong? Oh, uh, no. I just, uh, just had a bad dream, that's all. Never mind, it was just a dream. I love you, Paul. I love you, Anne. I just woke up a moment ago and had to call you. You haven't forgotten about today, have you? Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yes. We're getting married today, aren't we? Do you pull this woman for your lawful wedded wife? And do you solemnly promise before God and these witnesses that you will love, honor, and cherish her, and that forsaking all others for her alone, that you will perform upon her all the duties that a husband owes to his wife for as long as you both shall live? I do. Do you, Anne, take this man for your lawful wedded husband? And do you solemnly promise before God and these witnesses that you will love, honor, and cherish him? and that forsaking all others for him alone, that you will perform unto him all the duties that a wife owes to her husband for as long as you both shall live? I do. You will now place the ring upon Anne's left hand and repeat after me. This ring I give thee. In token and in pledge of our constant faith and abiding love. In token and in pledge of our constant faith and abiding love. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. And as much as Paul and Anne have consented together in holy wedlock and witnessed the same before God and this company and have thereto given and pledged their faith each to the other, I now pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. And now, may the God of all righteousness bless, preserve, and keep you till death.
<clears throat> Hello, sleepyhead. Hello, darling. Are we there yet? No, not yet. I just pulled over so we wouldn't run off the road in this fog. Where are we? I haven't the foggiest. <laughs> Why haven't you the foggiest? Because I'm sleepy. Oh, you poor darling. You must be exhausted. You've been driving for hours. What time is it? About 3 a.m. We're running a little behind schedule, aren't we? I was just thinking of when we're grandparents and our grandchildren ask us where we spent our honeymoon. I'll say, oh, we just parked by the side of a deserted road. <laughs> say, you're really planning ahead. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. We're going to be together a long time, darling. Forever. I'm never going to let you go. I hadn't exactly planned on leaving. You know, it's taken me long enough to get you. I wanted to marry you since I first saw you at the country club. But I thought you'd think I was too aggressive if I showed it. So I tried to be very cool and detached. I know, but you didn't fool me a bit. I could see right through you. No. Mm-hmm. No. How could you? I have my ways. Well, it really doesn't matter now that we're safely married, does it? I still can't believe it yet. I'm a married woman. What time is it? We've been married nearly 14 hours. Nearly 11. Oh, well, never mind. I still don't feel any different. Well, maybe that's because we really haven't started our married life yet. You'll feel different in a little while. <sighs> oh, I wish this fog would lift so we could get moving. Well, I've heard that sometimes these coastal fogs